Hello, this is Orange Coffee. Today I have a weapon tier list. For some context, I've played Hawk for more than 500 hours now and played all the guns extensively. This tier list was created on stream while the servers were down after getting a big raid, so sorry for the low quality. I plan on making some high quality scripted guides soon, but I'm currently busy playing. This tier list is split up by weapons type and I start with some general information on weapons. There is timestamps in the description if you want to skip through. Okay, yeah, let's raid the guns. Before we start with the guns, um, I'm gonna give you uh, a little bit of, of side knowledge. So, you can get guns from weapon boxes, you've all seen that, of course. Um, you can also get them from shops. You can get them from stashes, the hidden gambling stashes, and also very, very rarely from uh, gambling. Weapons come in uh, three rarities. They come in common, which is green, rare, blue, and then epic. No legendary weapons for now, but they are planned. A uh, higher rarity gets more damage, gets higher fire rate, and some weapons get higher magazines. It varies a bit, like some weapons keep their fire rate, but just get a bigger magazine. Uh, we have three ammo types. There is the plain ammo, which is used by most of the guns, um, like uh, the assault rifles, it's used by uh, the SMGs, and there is efficient ammo. Efficient ammo is used by snipers and is used by shotguns, and there's usually two or three ammo per shot. And there's energy weapons ammo, but most of the energy weapons use two ammo per shot, so you have to be a bit more careful with uh, that ammo. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, energy weapons. They are a bit special because they use more ammo and they overheat instead of reloading. So uh, you have the advantage of not needing to reload, but you have the disadvantage of once you overheat it, you can't shoot. So you have to switch uh, onto the other weapon. And also the bullets of energy weapons, they travel a bit slower. So um, it's a bit hard to hit targets on longer ranges, but you can like manage that by just taking care of your heat meter and like not overheating your gun. And then there's also armament weapons, which is hammer, staff, hot stepper, outrider, and the get up gun. You can only get them from shops. They have uh, a limited amount of ammo. Gunplay, so this one is important. All of the guns have spray patterns, which you might know from maybe Counter-Strike, maybe Rust, Apex. So if you shoot a gun, it is always gonna go into the same direction. And you can learn those spray patterns and then you can counter those spray patterns. So basically a, a great example is the Mazakin. The Mazakin pulls up and to the right. So if you move your mouse or like your sticks to the bottom left, you shoot straight. And all of the weapons have like spray patterns for that. You can learn them and then um, you can control them better that way. Next intro part, fighting solos against trios. A lot of the weapons perform a bit differently if you play solos or if you play trios. Um, because solos is a lot more close range and Trios is a lot more positioning based, which is also important to, important to know. So, let's start with the gun rankings. I'm gonna start with the pistols. Starting with the auto attack. This is one of my most controversial opinions. The auto attack is pretty good. So the auto attack is a three round burst pistol, but it's not really a pistol. Like it's more of an SMG. So you can just use it like an SMG with a small clip, but it's really accurate. Like all of the pistols, pretty accurate. Um, and you can take advantage of that by just running around and then like spraying and everything. So auto tech goes into the B tier. The hard tech is um, a semi-automatic pistol with I think 13 bullets in the magazine that does 20 headshot and like 13 body and you have to tap it. 
this is not that good. Hardtack is like I don't really like the gun. It's not that good damage wise because it's just you have a small magazine, you shoot rather slow. And like stuff doesn't really die. Because you that, that, that's the biggest problem with the gun. Magazine is too small, the damage is too low, it's not really that super accurate. Like it's just kinda eh. Governor. The governor is a revolver style gun. And it's good. You have six shots. They are really accurate if you ADS and they are also very very accurate if you hip fire. So something that you can do with a governor is you just kind of use it like a shotgun but you need to um, like stay grounded. You can't jump around while using the governor. You just need to stay grounded, walk around and then you can hip fire. So the dark spark is the most difficult gun to use in the whole game in my opinion um, because it does a lot of things but it also is very inconsistent so the dark spark can um, semi auto tap like the hard tag but you can also charge up your shot for like one big shot and it's kind of like a pocket sniper so it's you can kind of play it like a revolver and you can play it like a hard tech but a problem with it is that it's very very inaccurate during hip fire um, and it's pretty accurate during ADS but the bullet um, has travel time because it's an energy weapon and the dark spark also has insane headshot multiplier if you have um, a blue dark spark I think you do 98 headshot so you can two tap people so it's going into the bottom of B tier because hardest gun to use but if you um, play it correctly it's really good it's really really good next one we are gonna do the assault rifles so um, starting with the tight frame the tight frame is a semi-auto assault rifle, so you need a like, single fire. The tight frame is one of the few guns in the game that is perfectly accurate. But um, after you shoot, there's a little recoil kick that is random. So if you want to be perfectly accurate with the tight frame, you always need to wait for the recoil to reset. But if you do that correctly, um, it's really good because you're perfectly accurate. So it's if you have good aim, the gun is really good. And on, um, for example, Epic Rarity, I think you do 30, 30 body, I think, and like 40 headshot or something. No, like 30, I don't know. Like you do, do good damage with the gun. Tight frame is really good if you have good aim. So it's a solid beat here. Talking about tight frame, uh, the bigger brother of the tight frame is the Phantom. The Phantom is pretty much the same gun as the tight frame, but has more damage and is silenced. So it's going right here. They put it right here. Mm, yeah, I'll put it right here. Put it right here. And Phantom is better than both of them, in my opinion. Yeah. Next assault rifle, Penumbra. Uh, the Penumbra is full auto energy assault rifle, having 23 headshot. This gun has 13 body and 23 headshot. It does an insane amount of damage and it's really easy to use because it just shoots pretty straight. Really powerful. So it's straight A tier. It would be S tier, but it's an energy rifle so you can't reload it and you want to be able to reload your assault rifles. That's why it's not an S tier, but it's like easy, easy A tier. Next assault rifle is uh, next assault rifle is gonna be the Trident. The Trident Max is a three-round assault rifle, which is like, easy to use, um, does good damage, but the burst can be a bit of disadvantage of longer ranges. But it's like pretty good gun, does solid damage. 
I'm gonna put it right above the tight frame because it's so easy to use. But hip fire with a gun is complete garbage, so you need to always ADS. But good gun, easy to pick up. If you are uh, new, try the trident, it's really good. The little problem with the trident is that the burst happens while you shoot it. So usually your first shot will be accurate, your second shot will also very likely be accurate, but your third shot is gonna be gonna go like up. The bigger brother of the trident is the Steady 2020. It's pretty much the same gun, but uh, it has a bit better damage, and the recoil only kicks in after the burst. So the shots you fire are pretty much going uh, exactly where you aim. So that's an easy A tier, but the gun is rare. Last assault rifle is the Z. Z goes right next to the Penumbra, because they're pretty much the same gun. But the Z has the advantage that you can reload it, which is um, great. Like the Z is the easiest to use assault rifle in the game, and it's also one of the best assault rifles in the game. So make sure you get the, pick up the gun, and it's also very easy, very easy to use. Next one, sniper. So uh, best sniper in the game, my opinion, uh, Pella, because it has the most damage, and you can shoot the fastest. So uh, Pella is an easy A tier, but uh, Pella and Common Gutter are kind of the same gun with the trade-off. Pella does more damage, Common Cutter shoots faster, and you don't have to reload the Common Cutter. So Common Cutter goes right here. Um, next sniper, Supernova. I'm gonna count that as a sniper. Supernova is a charge rifle. Um, it's similar to the charge rifle like it is in Apex right now. 130 damage. 130 damage. You don't get a scope, so you can just do the regular ADS shooting. Very, very good gun. Almost S tier. Um, and the last scoped sniper is the Quasar. The Quasar is a bit weird because it doesn't shoot one shot, but it shoots one shot in the middle where you aim and then you get through shot, uh, three shots in a circle around it. Which is like, it's not really a sniper, it's like more of an of a scoped uh, assault rifle, which I would say. So I'm gonna put it into C tier because it's like weird to use. You have to aim for you have to aim for middle body for it to do damage. Wait, I'm, I'm and last, which I'm gonna count as a sniper because it you kind of have to play it. It's more like a marksman rifle. It's the neo right. The neo right is not a sniper. It's a grenade launcher. Um, so you shoot uh, grenades that explode on impact. And they have a bit of a flying time. In theory, that sounds good, but it's just the gun isn't really bad. It's more that the other guns are just better. Yeah, so I'm putting the near right and see because it's really, really hard to use. Next category. Next category is gonna be the LMGs. There's only two LMGs. There's the Fault Star. The Fault Star is an energy LMG, so it overheats, but you can shoot 50 times before it overheats. And something special with the Falsa is that around half of the heath meter, you pretty much shoot perfectly straight. So the gun is really good, but you need to know how to use it. Falsa, B tier. It's good, but you need to, you, you need to know how to use it. So um, the good fella, good fella is a minigun style LMG, Gatling style LMG. It needs to spin up a bit before it starts shooting, but it has um, 70 or an epic. Uh, 80 bullets in the magazine, so you can shoot for a while, and it has um, the highest sustained DPS. Like if you look at someone and you hit him, if they keep saying they they just fall over. The good fella goes into uh, B tier. I'm gonna put it right here. Ah, now it actually I'm gonna put it into A tier. I'm gonna put it at the bottom of A tier because it's really good, but it is. Hard to use. Next weapon category, I'm gonna do the armament weapons. Ultra Hammer and the Islander Staff are both melee weapons. Uh, melee is extremely hard to pull off, extremely difficult to play. Um, you just get shot at, you, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage against all the other players because they can shoot you from range but you can't um, and you need to run specific artifacts and some boosters. I've seen some people make it work playing melee only bins, which can work. Like Jonah, for example, he's been playing melee only. So melee isn't really that good. So they are 
both going into the D tier. Then uh, next one, the get up gun. The get up gun isn't really a gun. It is more like a consumable because you only really use it to overheal your teammate, put overhealth on them. Uh, only buy a get up gun in trios. Shoot your teammate with a get up gun and they're gonna get overhealth. So they're gonna get um, one time health that is lost after they um, take damage on that. Which is really nice because if you get up gun your whole team, they go from 100 base HP to 200 base HP. And if you do that to the whole team, all of a sudden uh, you don't have three players anymore. The hot stepper. The hot stepper is a mine placing gun. You can place 10 mines and then you can um, detonate them and they, they stack. Yeah, The hot stepper is insanely powered. Um, you can stick your teammate, you can stick mines onto your teammates. So you can stick some mines onto your teammate and then have your teammate run into another player, detonate the mines and you can one shot them that way. I've been begging the developers <laughs> to remove that mechanic for so long now and I'm hoping it's gonna come soon. Um, the hot step is one of the best guns in the game, S tier, S tier, but you need to learn how to use it. Next gun, Outrider. Um, the Outrider is kind of an aimbot gun. Um, if you hip fire with the Outrider, there's a little bit of bullet magnetism if it's if they're in your crosshair. But something else that you can do with the Outrider is if you um, aim on sights and then you shoot a player, they will be marked, and then bullets will home into them on around a 90 um, degree angle from your player, which is basically a bot but it only does 20 damage per shot and you only have um 50 bullets so outrider also s tier uh the smg is next first smg the deonic is a double barreled smg meaning for every time you pull the trigger there's gonna be two bullets coming out of the gun and they're landing very very close to each other which makes this gun have an insanely fast time to kill if you hit but you get the advantage of it being an energy um, weapon so you can't reload it you really want to be able to reload SMGs and then it overheats so you have to be a bit careful but you can instantly delete people with the gun so it's also going into the good tier next SMG Gar Gar shoe is a 25 bullet rapid fire SMG gun shoots extremely fast has good damage best gun in the game right now I would even say it's a bit overpowered because you can instantly delete people with the gun. Next SMG, the Mezzikin. Uh, Mezzikin is just a regular SMG, good for close range, really good. It does SMG stuff, it's good right now. A tier. So I'm putting the Mezzikin about right here. The last SMG is the Moonduster. The Moonduster is, in my opinion, the worst gun in the game. Uh, a five round burst, meaning your bur and the bursts are somewhat slow, meaning um, the bursts are flying and you usually only hit two or three bullets because people are gonna start moving. It's an energy weapon and you can't reload it and it overheats very fast. So I don't think it's good. Tyrant 8 is a full auto drum shotgun. It is not that good right now because it gets outgunned by all the other weapons that play at the same range. Because now the next other two weapons, Astolega double barrel shotgun, one of the best guns in the game because it's such insane damage close range, easy S tier. And then the Muldoon is also just, it's such a good gun, like good damage, good spread, you can do good movement, good gun overall, so yeah. So this is it, the final tier list. Even though it was a bit messy, I hope you could learn something from this. Again, high quality guides coming soon, so stay tuned or find me on Twitch. Thank you for watching, see you the next time.